Welcome to another screencast of the screencast series on SQL Server 2012. My name is Dr. Max Artemiu, I'm a SQL Server MVP. And today we are going to talk about uh, working with snippets in SQL Server 2012. Code snippets are small regions of reusable code that allow the developer or the database administrator to write a piece of code once and use it anywhere without having to write the code from scratch again. It allows for easier and faster programming. And of course, it's a method of defining coding standards because when you use code snippets, you use uh, code that was prepared prior to uh, any action you are going to perform against the database. So, by using the snippet, you, you, you somehow follow a common uh, standard coding. Now, you, you see on the screen the SQL Server 2012 Code Snippets Manager. Code Snippets Manager allows you to uh, import snippets in one of these uh, categories and you can uh, also add your own set of snippets in a brand new category that you can create but uh, how how you create snippets you can create snippets using two ways the first way is to write xml code and the second way is to use graphical user interfaces that were developed for this purpose. When I first worked with snippets in SQL Server 2012, CTP1, I thought to myself that it, was, it would be useful to create the, an application allowing you to create snippets. So I developed snippets generator for SQL Server 2012 and I, 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 I opened this as a project on Codeplex, so you can, you can go there and download it if you like. And of course, provide your feedback, as it is always welcome. Snippets Generator allows you to create a new snippet by entering some uh, meta information and writing, of course, the T-SQL script that it will be uh, your snippet. Of course, there are snippet templates that you can use for customizing your own snippet. As you see on this screen, there are a few uh, templates. For example, now we see the template uh, for creating a database. And when you click on Use Template, you can further customize it and save it as your own and then import it in SSMS 2012. Okay, let's see snippets in action now. This is snippets uh, generator. We can create a new snippet. We name it create db. Uh, we put a description there. And the script can, can be a simple one just for illustrating how you can create a new snippet. We create a new directory and we save all our snippets there. This is a create test db snippet. And you see that the snippet was successfully generated. 
that's an XML file was created having the description along with the physical script uh, of our snippet. Another way of creating snippet using snippets generator, as said before, is to use snippet templates. So let's say if uh, I want to use uh, the templates in a special category, you see that this is a pre-made snippet for retrieving database file size sizes. If I click on use template, the template is moved on the TCW script uh, text box. You can further customize it. So let's say I, I just added, I um, have just added a new filter. Again, we enter some meta information. And we give a name for our new snippet. All right, that's it. Now we need to import our snippets in SSMS 2012. So we go to Tools, Code Snippets Manager, and here we have two options. We can either import individual snippets, like this one, let's say, or we can choose to add an entire to import an entire uh, directory containing snippets. So if we import the Artemis snippets directory, let's say, we will get all our snippets that exist in this specific directory imported in SSMS 2012 Code Snippets Manager. So we select this directory, select folder, and you see that our two snippets have been imported under the category name Artemis snippets that was the name of the directory containing the snippets. Okay, now let's see how we can use the snippets. So in a query editor, you can either right click and select is insert snippet or you can just enter the key combination control K control X you see that now we can select one or more snippets from the uh, snippets library let's say we select the create DB you see this is the description we entered in the meta information Okay, it seems that I, I have a database uh, named testdb m1. So anyway, let's change the name of the database and you see that the database uh, is created. Now let's use the other snippet. You see that this snippet generated a T-SQL that can be used for providing size information about the database, specific databases. And you see that now we have the requested information about the Adventure Works 2012 database. Okay. This was a short screencast uh, illustrating how we can use uh, code snippets in SSMS 2012 along with using Snippets Generator 2012. You can find 
and download snippets generator on CodePlex in this uh, hyperlink and some other resources you can find on this slide in order to get more information about snippets and SQL Server 2012. Thank you very much for watching this screencast. See you uh, at our next screencast very soon.